A 37-hour filibuster in the state Senate ended with the chamber giving initial approval to a measure that would bar the state from penalizing businesses who refuse to provide services for same-sex weddings. Democrats accuse Republicans of bending the rules to force the measure through. KRCG 13's Garrett Bergquist was there for most of that filibuster. Mr. President, I have a motion to move the previous question. Those words brought 37 hours of non-stop filibustering to a halt. When the Senate convened shortly after 4 p.m. Monday, it took up Senate Joint Resolution 39. The measure would add provisions to the state constitution involving same-sex weddings. The proposal would bar the state from penalizing any business that refuses to provide wedding services to a same-sex couple. It also would bar the state from penalizing clergy who refuse to perform the ceremony. The question here is, shall those organizations, those churches, those pastors be protected from being compelled to violate their religious beliefs? Senate Democrats filibustered the bill from Monday afternoon through Tuesday into early Wednesday. Senate staff say that's the longest filibuster they can recall in at least 30 years. This bill is a direct hit on those individuals who decide to love and be in love with the same sex. Then around 5 a.m. Wednesday, Senate Republicans met behind closed doors. Shortly after 7, they used a rare procedural move to cut off debate and force a vote. Democrats accused Republicans of ignoring several motions they were trying to make. The senator from the first was seeking recognition under our rules to make a superseding privilege motion. He was denied recognition for that motion. Republicans say they had to move the debate along. But we couldn't come to a negotiated settlement that was fair to the sponsor and to our caucus, and we had to, uh, we had to move and uh, move on. At the state capitol, Garrett Bergquist, KRCG 13. The measure needs one more up and down vote before it heads over to the House. That vote is scheduled for tomorrow. If it passes both chambers, the question would appear on the November ballot.